Hey everyone, it's Dave here. I hope that whatever time zone you happen to be in at this very moment, that you are having a very good one. We hit a thousand subscribers a couple of weeks ago, but still, I am completely dumbfounded by the fact that I have passed a thousand subscribers. Like, I know that's relatively small in the vast world of YouTube, but for me personally, I find that absolutely amazing that I got that far at all. So I'd just like to thank you guys so, so much for that. I believe I'm at like 1.3k right now. It's just, it's amazing. Thank you guys so, so much. And with that, I put out a community post asking for you guys to give me some questions to answer, so here we are, my first ever Q&A. And without any further ado, I'll jump right into some questions. I'm going to be basic, but what got you into voice acting made you want to start this channel? Well, I kind of came across ASMR by accident, honestly. I was just having a few, not necessarily rough nights, but, you know, just a few nights where I was just having a little bit more trouble than usual falling asleep, so I was looking up, like, some ambience and, you know, different mu background music to play to fall asleep to, and suddenly underneath one of the videos was some ASMR, and I'm like, what in the world is this? Like, it's supposed to help me fall asleep. Okay, I'll click on it had some person tapping my face and saying stuff, and I was a little weirded out, as a lot of people are weirded out by ASMR when they don't know what it's about. But it was oddly calming, and I actually felt the ASMR tingles, which, which at the time I didn't know that those tingles were called ASMR. I just did. I would normally feel them like listening to different music and stuff, but I never really felt it in this kind of manner before, so I was really intrigued by it, you know? So I listened to a few more videos, got, got interested in it, and from there I discovered the voice acting kind of ASMR, which I found that really intriguing as well. I had never really watched anything like that before, and I really got into it. From there, I discovered Dangerous ASMR, of all people, <laughs> and listened to some of her stuff, which her stuff is very immersive, very good storytelling, caters to a lot of different kinds of people, and I really got listening to different things like that, and she did a collab with Fearless Lynn. So I was like, okay, this is interesting, more than one person, you know? And I really got into Fearless Lynn stuff that she did. And from there, from there, I found Discord and joined her Discord, got to know some folks over there, talked to her. She's a really cool person. You guys should really check her out. And I just was like, hey, I like this kind of stuff, you know? i done, like, a little bit of acting here and there in, like, you know, high school and stuff, but never really anything like this. But I really was like, you know what? I'm going to try this. This is really cool. And I made my first video. It was super duper cringy. And every time I go back to listen to it, I cringe very, very much. <laughs> but from there, I was just like, I like this. I really want to do it. So here we are. And I've... <laughs> reaching 1.3k it's like it's awesome so that was a little bit rambly but yeah that's what really got me into it I just kind of stumbled across it and fell in love with it and here we are next question what are some of your favorite genres to voice act well i would say fantasy is a really big one I love doing anything fantasy-based, whether it's, like, mythical creatures, knights, princes, you know, things like that. I really like going into those fantasy worlds and being something that I wouldn't normally be in the real world, you know? 
I, I mean, I like doing all sorts of other things as well, whether it's like a modern day story or historical kind of a story, gothic kind of a story. But I would say that fantasy is probably one of the big ones for me. Uh, which one of your videos is your favorite? Ooh. Ooh. That is a difficult question to answer. Because I really like a lot of them. Some of them are okay, but I do like a lot of them. I liked the Lamia audio that I did. I really liked the dragon audio that I did, the flirty one. Um, my Hottie High Elf I really liked as well, which I was kind of surprised at because I don't usually do Sundere style characters a lot, but I really like the way that one turned out. But I can't really say that I have a favorite favorite. I just, I like it pretty much everything that I do. Let's see, over on the Discord, what questions do we got here? Do I like ice cream? Absolutely, I love ice cream. I would eat ice cream all the time as a kid, like, too much. <laughs> My favorite ice cream would probably be... At least as of right now, I would say Rocky Road is one of my absolute favorite ice cream flavors, but ice cream is ice cream. I love it all. <laughs> um, let's see. Ooh, this one is crucial. Pie or cake? Pie or cake? Ooh. Ooh, that's another hard one. Um, I love both. Like, I love both. Um... But if I had to choose between pie and cake... Hmm... I would say pie. All the different kinds of fruits and stuff that you can make pie out of, all the different just things you can make into a pie. I've always loved peanut butter pie. It's one of my absolute favorite desserts ever. Like, hmm. Uh, but I love both. I absolutely love both. But if I had to choose, I would probably go with pie. Uh, what is the greatest movie to me of all time? Angel, you know that that is the hardest question you could have asked me because you know how much of a movie buff I am. Oh, golly. I can't choose. There's just no way I can choose what the greatest movie of all time is. Ugh. Mm. As for one of the greatest movies to me of all time, um, Captain's Courageous is a good one. I really love that story. Um, shoot. <laughs> Mine goes blank to every movie of every movie ever made. Um, Hunchback of Notre Dame, 1939 version, definitely one of my favorites. I love that movie to death. Um, Singing in the Rain, obviously one of the greatest of all time. That has to be in there, like, of course. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> But that was, an, that was an unfair question, and you knew that it was. <laughs> uh, and that's all the questions that I have wrote down here. So there you have it, my first ever Q&A session. And, and I'll probably be doing more of these as my channel grows and as there's interest in having them. So thank you guys so, so much for the continued support. Thank you guys so, so much for being at 1.3k right now. It's amazing, and I will constantly sound like a broken record thanking you guys for every little milestone that I reach, but I truly appreciate it. So I hope you have a good night, day, morning, afternoon, whatever time zone you are in, and I'll catch you guys later.